Well, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good wherever you are. JP here at Websites for Beginners. In this video, we are going to have a how to create a user registration form with Jet Form Builder. Absolutely amazing little builder, works with a Gutenberg editor interface, which means that if you're used to Gutenberg, you're going to be very familiar with it. And we are looking only at the free stuff. Yes, everything I'm showing you is free. Also check out the other video that we have here on Websites for Beginners on how to make a simple contact form if you want to know a little bit more about Jet Form Builder and how to install it. In this video, I'm not gonna go through all of that again. So a user registration form, what is that about? In WordPress, you often have people that will register as users on your WordPress site. They may be contributors, they may be editors, or they may be just subscribers. And having such a form on your site where people can become part of your WordPress environment and where you can collect all their details and they can be subscribers is a great way to do that with JetForm Builder. And a quick look here, what I've done here, very simple, I didn't go into any fancy la -di da stuff, is you get onto the site, you add your email, the username you want to use, your name, password, confirm password, last name, I just put it in two columns. I'm not sure if I jump around, it makes much sense. And even if you want to add a website URL, let's see how you create this form. And then we test it as if I'm a complete new user. Go to the back end and then you have already Jet Form Builder installed. We're going to create a new form. Click on add new and we will call this user registration. Here, user registration. And let me just open my setting sidebar here so it doesn't look that widely spaced. What you do here is that you're going to be building out the field. But what I would do in this case before we go there is to look over here on the right under Jet Form. And in case you don't see it, you may be on Block. Make sure you've selected the settings and then the Jet Form. And then here, Post Submit Actions. From here, you're going to select register user. This one is extremely important because this is going to determine the fields you're going to use. Otherwise, if you just add random fields, it's not going to make any sense. It's not going to register in the back with the WordPress user area. Click here on the little pencil for edit this action. And here you will see you have to do a little bit of mapping. You will need these four. Definitely, you will need to have a field for a user login, what's going to be their name, the user login details, the email, a password, and a confirmed password. Then these guys, like the first name, your last name, and the user URL, these are optional. You can set up here with these people when they are subscribing, what is the role that they will be assigned to. Let's go for subscriber. And then you can also bring in user meta if you have more within that area, within your user role area. We're not going to worry about this. Here you have login user after register. So once they have registered, they can log in and add user ID to form data if you want. And then here is going to be your message settings. So for password mismatch, passwords don't match. And you can go through these. I think they're pretty nice and self-explanatory. What is important though, is that we need to go and create these fields. So for a user login, currently on my form, we only have a post ID and a text. So let's just close this. So remember user login, this is your username. Close this. We go to our text field we've entered here. Over here, field label, I'm going to call it username. Text field, let's call it username underscore field. And then field settings, it's text. It has to be required. So make sure you select here in the context toolbar above the block is required. And there is your username. Next, email. All I'll do is I'll go here and select duplicate. And then over here, I'll call this email. We'll call it email field underscore field. And then under field type, we're going to select email. And that's all. It's also required. It's already. Let's go for the next one. Duplicate this one again. So we don't have to bring in the block again. 
This time we call it password. And we'll say this is password field. Not sure why there's underscore field, but I keep with that. And then field type is going to be text again. And then all we need to do is duplicate this one and go to password and field label is password conf or rather confirm password. And then we can say password underscore confirm. And now we've created all of this. So these are the four and I'm publishing this form. These are the form fields that you must have for the user registration to work. So let's link them now. Go back to JetForm. Here under post submit actions, make sure register user is selected and click on the pencil. User login, you're going to connect it to your username. Email, you're going to connect that to email. Password to the password and confirm password to confirm password. So because I used similar terminology as to what they've got here, it looks very rudimentary and it looks very logical but you may have used different words like this one. I, I said username, it says user login. And then for the role, let's put it on subscriber. Hmm, why that didn't save in? Maybe because I didn't use any of that. Update, update up here. And just remember, if you need more actions, you can add another action here. You don't only have to go for register user. You can see there's quite a number that you can also do. For example, you can also subscribe them to your distro list in MailChimp or any others. You can stop here because this is all that is required for a user to register. In case you want to add more fields like the first name, last name, as, a, as well as a user URL, you bring those in. And then if you have created more meta data that you collect, like which country they are from, these you will link over here. We'll stick to this. Let's go and test it now. So what we need to do is place this form somewhere on our site. I've updated it. Let's go back into the admin area. Go to our pages, all pages, my contact us. And then where I have input this form, I'll click on it and select Choose form, and this one is user registration. You see the four that we've created here. I'll update that. Let's go and preview it in the front. And now I'll just grab this URL because I'm already logged in. And let's go to a new in private, paste it. Contact us. And now my username, I will call it Cape Town Bob. And my email is capetownbob at cpt.com. My password, one, two, three, four, five. And next password, one, two, three, four, five. And click on submit. And form successfully submitted. I am a user now, and now I should be logged in as well. And you can see here that the WordPress toolbar has appeared at the top. If I click now as Cape Town Bob, and go to the WordPress backend, I'm only going to see these few options appear. And the reason is because I'm only a subscriber. Remember, we assigned that role in the form. This is how you can get subscribers. And this is good if, if you have member sites and, and just a good support even for editors. If I jump back to my site, let's close this one. Here I'm back in Microsoft Edge and I go to my Back end for WordPress. Let's go for users. Click on all users. You will see Cape Town Bob appears over here now. That's how easy it is to use JetForm Builder to quickly create a form to get a user registration right onto your site. Super. If you want to know more about JetForm Builder, follow the link in the description below. There is a lot that this plugin delivers. Great stuff a lot of blocks that you can build out the form with. And like I had shown you the opportunity to create forms for user registration, you have multi-step forms and everything I've shown you and I am showing you is available in the free version. If you are thinking about going one step higher, what does that mean for the pro version? That means you have select autocomplete, address autocomplete, you can save form progress, which is great in case somebody needs to come back 
And you have more integration, Mailer, Lite, HubSpot, Moose, and Stripe, MailPoet, the works. And what does that mean? Let's see what that means in terms of a pro feature. That's on the pricing. It's $39 per year for one or unlimited is $79 per year. From me, JP, have a great day. Stay safe and see you in the next video.